You can place slice shots all over the court and in many different variations. In this video we will focus on the slice drop shot from the forehand corner and the reverse slice drop shot um, from the round the head corner. There are different ways to play drop shots or to play shots close behind the net and in the previous tutorial I was already showing you um, a deceptive drop shot where you were slowing down the movement of the arm immediately and by that um, hopefully tricking your opponent so he thinks you play a fast shot but in the end you just slow it down the movement and play it short behind the net. The cool thing about slice drop shots is that you don't actually have to slow down the arm movement so much. So the shot actually looks like a hard uh, smash or clear until the last moment, but by slicing it you can take out the tempo um, and by that make it really hard for your opponent to figure out if a fast shot is coming or not. So that is the first uh, really good point about slice drop shots and another great thing about slice drop shots is that the racket usually goes into a different direction than the shuttle. So the shot also looks like a cross shot, but then the shuttle comes straight or the other way around. Um, your movement looks like a straight movement, but then suddenly the shuttle flies cross court. So there are two kinds of deceptions in um, slice drop shots. On one hand, it's a tempo deception, so it looks like a smash or a clear, but gets slow. And as well, there's a deception of direction, so the opponent doesn't really know in which, which direction your shot will come. So how to hit a slice drop shot from the rear court? And we start up with the forehand option, or the option you can use most of the times in the forehand corner. And as I already said in the introduction, the movement is very similar to a clear or a smash. The only big difference is the part with the forearm rotation in the, in the end of the movement. So usually when you hit a smash, you use the forearm rotation also um, to hit, it, hit the shuttle clean with the strings. And in the slice drop shot, you're just not doing that kind of forearm rotation. Maybe only a very little, but in the end, the racket, this um, part of the racket, the racket frame should point towards the net. So you want to hit the shuttle like this. And also, if, you, um, if the shuttle is coming towards you, just imagine here a clock with one o'clock, three, six, and nine. Then you want to hit the shuttle here at three o'clock. So this is of course for right-handed players. If you are left-handed, then it's the other way around. Then you have to hit it at nine o'clock. But you want to hit it this way. And to do that, as I said, leave out the forearm rotation, just cut the shuttle or slice the shuttle here on the right side at three o'clock. There are two ways how you can adjust the speed of your shots and one thing of course is again the speed of your arm so if you slow down the movement you also slow down your shot and the other option here is how much you slice the shuttle. The more you slice it the more speed it will lose on its way so you can still do a very fast arm movement if you put a lot of slice in it and that will make it hard for your opponent to figure out that you're actually playing a drop shot to the net and he will be um, really afraid of something hard like a smash or a clear. In the beginning, it is a little bit tricky if you want to hit it with a lot of slice. So with this point of the, uh, so with this part of the frame pointing forwards. So if you hit it a little bit more like this, it gets a lot easier to hit the shuttle. You can still get slice in it, and then if you have a good touch, you can try to um, get more slice in it and make the movement faster. Okay, so let's have a look at a few slice drop shots from the forehand corner in slow motion. shuttle at nine o'clock so I don't want to hit it this way but I want to get on the other side of the shuttle and hit it this way. Usually or most common you use it from the round the head corner and 
play a cross drop shot um, by doing that reverse slice. And here again you have the advantage your racket has to go from the right to the left side of the shuttle. So the arm and racket movement look, looks a lot more like um, the shuttle coming straight. So how to do it, how to hit the shuttle here on that side. Um, here of course you have to use forearm rotation. The forearm rotation helps you to get onto this side of the shuttle here. And so here it is really important to still do it. And you can adjust a little bit with the wrist into this position here. That will also help you to get on the left side of the shuttle. The arm movement goes this way, but in the end you will see the shuttle lies into the different direction if you put the slice in it here. Again, same thing like with the slice drop shot on the forehand with the reverse slice. The more slice you put in, this time it's more about slice from right to left, the more you can take out the tempo of the shot with a fast movement, but of course timing is more tricky if you do a really fast movement with the arm. So start a little bit slower and don't slice it too much. And then, if you have a good feeling again, increase the speed of your movement and try to put more slides in it from this position here. In the beginning, it can also help you if you adjust the grip a little bit. So if you go from the normal V grip a little bit into the direction of the panhandle grip, not completely panhandle, but something in between here, and with that grip, it's easier to get on the left side or the 9 o'clock side of the shuttle here. And by that, you can get more slice into the shuttle with almost the same movement you would use for a clear or a smash. So you can try to adjust it a little bit, but you have to keep in mind if you get onto a higher level and play against really good opponents, they can see that difference in the grip. So they will already know earlier if you play these reverse slice drop shots from the round head corner or from any side of the court. So be a little bit careful, but in the beginning it's okay if you turn a little bit and make it easier for you to hit these reverse slice shots. The reverse slice shot is also used many times in the forehand corner and here it looks a lot like you hit a cross court shot again because of the arm and racket movement that goes for me as a right hand player from right to left but in the end the shuttle flies straight so it can be also really hard for your opponent to read it so try to use it in the beginning it's easier to hit it from the round head corner but then if you have a good timing and also get good slice into the shuttle also try it from the forehand corner can also be a dangerous, a dangerous weapon from that side of the court. slices and reverse slice drop shots. In my next video I will show you a cool way of teaching or also learning kind of these shots. So in the next video I will focus on how to learn a slice and reverse slice drop shot from scratch so you can use it if you are a player and want to learn how to do these things or also if you are a coach and want to tell your players how to learn or how to play slice and reverse slice shots. That video will be a perfect thing for you so stay tuned. If you have further questions about the technique or the why with these sliced and reverse sliced shots, write it down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and get the notifications for it so you hear about my latest videos. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.